my next guest's debut novel quickly became a New York Times bestseller. Last year, The Gilded Ones was the first in a fantasy trilogy, the story of a teenage girl, Deka, who learns she's a near immortal with special gifts. And one day after The Gilded Ones was published, it was announced that it would be adapted into a movie trilogy on the day that it was published, I should say. <laughs> on the day, on the day. Now, the second book in the trilogy, The Merciless Ones, is set to hit shelves. It picks up as Deka and her army are poised to stop a dark force. Please welcome a brilliant author I adore, Namina Forma. How are you? All right. I just said to you in the commercial break, take a deep breath, because you live in the pages of this amazing world, but TV, you're like, okay, I'm about to be live TV. I got to get ready here. How are you feeling about all this? Uh, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I'm excited to have you. I told you I'm your biggest fan, and I just love that this, this, this book and this series, you said that the trilogy of these female warriors is like if Black Panther were stuck in The Handmaid's Tales and decided they weren't going to take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> take me to that world. Um, so my world is called Oterra. It is deeply patriarchal. Um, and in Oterra, there's a group of women who bleed gold and are faster and stronger than regular people. So everyone thinks that because of this, these women are demons until like actual demons come into the world. And then now, then they're like, wait a second, maybe now we can get these girls to like fight these demons and kill each other off. It'll be great. Damina, <laughs> let me, in this book, um, you write about this scene where the bodies are discovered of women who had been killed, and, and our warriors are there. And I'm gonna you say in this in this passage, I, I focus on the necklace hidden under my armor, my touchstone in times like this. The mothers gave it to me some months ago to replace the one I inherited from my birth mother. When I tug on it mentally, a replying vibration travels through me, an acknowledgement from the mothers that they are here with me. No matter how difficult things become, the goddesses are always there, silently supporting me. I cried when I read that. Just, the, I could picture it. The, the, you know, I believe, you know, obviously in the universe and, and people are around us protecting us at all times. And reading that and, and reading Deka and her journey, how was that for you, especially knowing your personal journey of life? Um, so, for me, with this book, I always wanted to create a world where I could sort of explain what it meant to live in a patriarchy, because I grew up in Sierra Leone, West Africa. I was born and raised there, and I came to America when I was nine. And I grew up um, during the Sierra Leonean Civil War. And so um, Sierra Leone was supremely patriarchal, but then I come to America, and I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. And it was sort of like the same thing over again, so I was like, huh, I want to I wanna write a book that explains this, that explains what it means to live in a patriarchy, what are the systems that support it. Um, and I just, I thought it was really important for teen, teenage, teenagers specifically um, to see and to, like, understand, because I always had questions growing up, and there weren't really any answers for me, and so I wanted to sort of make it easier for the next. I love that because you're answering a lot of questions that were natural to your life experience and you're using Deka as almost like an alter ego. A, a little bit, yeah. I mean, I think you bleed gold. I think you have special powers. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and, and, and so for you, this has been a whirlwind, as I mentioned, um, the success of the first book in the series, the third has not even been published yet and the people behind Lovecraft Country, which was my favorite show on, um, they are now with you in creating the TV version of The Gilded Ones? Um, the movie, movie version. Movie film, version, film version of it. Yes. <laughs> Again, looking at your life, Sierra Leone, this, this whirlwind journey for you, and now to have a movie, and you're writing the screenplay, or you're helping it? Yes, I am writing the screenplay. Um, I, it's just sort of been like a lifelong dream. I actually went to film school, like, and so it's been um, just amazing, you know, be, like having a seat at the table and being able to like write the book and then transfer it to the movie, which is like a whole other sort of different thing. Uh, it, it's just been wild, like. 
I know I'm sitting here looking at you like this because I feel like I'm looking at the future. You are incredible in the images and the writing. It, it's it's breathtaking for everyone to read. Namina, I'm so happy. I am I'm fangirling out right now because you are amazing. Congratulations on everything. The Merciless Wand is out next week. And guess what? You're all going home with your copy. You'll be receiving it. I, yeah, I mean, can I just get a hug? Well, I don't know. Oh, gosh, this is so good.